You have to tell me, Anton, I need you to get some sleep. You got to pull me back, not push me forward. I'm trying to push you forward and you got to pull me back. If you sitting here looking at a millionaire and a billionaire, all of these billionaires that we got examples of, I look at the Elon Musk and I said, this dude is the CEO of two companies and he don't even sleep. If this mother effer don't sleep, what do I look like sitting here taking more than seven hours of sleep every day? Talking about I'm tired. No, I got work to do. We have work to do. And there is always a way in which you can lean into the best version of you. And there's things that you and I can do and it don't have nothing to do with what you look like, what your gender is, how much money you make, none of that. You can do some things that's going to transform your life, but it's going to come as a result of what you do and not what everybody else is doing to you. Y'all need to lean more into the thing that y'all are good at. People do things because they like you, not necessarily because you got the best product. I've seen so many of the most talented people in the world shoot themselves in the foot. You know, I was talking to um, a former NBA player's daughter. I'm not going to say the name. Rita know who I'm talking about. I was talking to a former NBA player's daughter. And this NBA player was probably one of the least talented people as far as their ability to be able to dribble and put the ball in the basket. Let me say that again. One of the least talented people that has ever come across in the league. And this person spent more time in the league than some of the most talented people in the league. NBA player's daughter. I was talking to him. And he was a very smart guy. He networked effectively. He made the right connections. He was very nice. He was treated really well by ownership and all of this other type of stuff, right? But one of the reasons why he was able to last so long in the league and then get jobs afterwards and then get opportunities even today, even today, I used to watch this guy on TV and I used to think to myself, how in the heck is this dude getting playing time or even on a roster? It baffled me. It absolutely baffled me. But in hindsight, I actually admire him more than I did some of the superstars, the Allen Iversons. Listen, and, and, and again, I'm not going to say his name. He's not even a like a huge NBA player. If I, if I mentioned him, the people that actually follow the NBA like that and not just watch highlights, they probably know exactly who I'm talking about. But I actually admire these type of people more than I admire the ones that came in with a lot of talent. Because I believe that the thing that they are doing is the thing that can be duplicated for the overwhelming majority of us. Most of us is never going to ever be able to get to be able to put a ball in a hole at the highest level. You're not going to run no faster. You're not going to grow no higher. You're not going to do any of that. I admire Dan Gilbert more than I do LeBron James. Let me say that again. Most of y'all don't even have a clue unless you're from Detroit or unless you're really, really integrated in what's going on in the business world. Most of y'all don't even have a clue on who Dan Gilbert is. I believe that Dan Gilbert needs to be more famous than LeBron James. I was just reading the other day about how Dan Gilbert and his wife is allocating over a half a billion dollars of their own money and putting it into use from all of these, like donating it to community programs, activists, law and paying off people's property taxes in Detroit, all of these different things. They get no credit for it whatsoever. No credit for it whatsoever. You know what? They real hush hush about that. These are people that's actually putting money into the community. They built jobs in Detroit. They moved a whole company down into the city. They raised the property values. They built up and bought, bought buildings and gave people jobs. They highlight all of these great businesses that y'all supposed to advocate for. Real talk. Nobody knows who Dan Gilbert is. The only thing that Dan Gilbert is majorly famous for is the letter that he wrote when LeBron James left the Cleveland Cavaliers and then he, LeBron came back. This dude built a multi-billion dollar company that he's still at the forefront of today. Rocket companies literally went public, I believe, two years ago. I invested in it. That investment is doing absolutely phenomenal. See, Sack please said, I didn't even know about Dan until LeBron got in the league. The thing about it, though, is that if you study Dan Gilbert's story, if you study all of the isms, 
down at Quicken, Quicken Loans and things like that. If you understand how he built the company, if you know what his work ethic was like, all of those type of things, these are things that we can literally duplicate and become richer than some of your favorite rappers. And it's not hard to do. I give so much game in the Patreon link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. People refuse to invest in themselves, but they'd rather hang on to these dreams, these unrealistic dreams and pretend like they ever going to be in the NBA or they ever going to be in a league. Real talk. It's insane. It's insane. I admire the people that actually give you the blueprint that may be a little less known, but a lot richer. A lot richer. You have to really, really start to lean into the things that's going to make you great. You got to lean into the thing that's going to make you great. I was never a really, really great communicator, but I've always had confidence. Throughout the years, and if you look at some of my older videos, I realized that, you know what, over time, if I'm very, very intentional and I continue to do these self-checks and I, and I practice... I'll be able to communicate a little bit more effectively than most people because I'm intentional, not because I'm better than them. I don't have any fear. I can overcome fear. You can work on your communication. You can network effectively. You can be a nice person. You can actually take time out and then plan out your schedule so that you utilize your 24 hours more than everybody else. You can be consistent. These are things that all of us have at our disposal, but very few of us want to lean into. And then we want to complain about rich people. Yeah, I went and bought my Rolex. Cash. Showed you the receipt yesterday. I went and got mine. Cash. Didn't even blink. Doesn't even affect me even a little bit. You know why? Because of the things that's readily available as long as we hone our skills, we intentional, and we don't run into victim Olympics and we consistent long enough to get to the results. These are things that you can do, that you can do and you don't have to hope to hit the lottery as far as becoming a rapper and getting a bad contract. Yeah, I'm richer than your favorite rapper. Unless he Drake or Jay-Z or something like that. But you can get to the bag. You can literally, this whole show today was mainly about how much money people are making and what it is that you have to do in order to level up. Literally showed you a bunch of different jobs, went through and told you about the fact that even Steve Aoki is one of the hardest working dudes in the DJ space and he don't make no money off of his music. We make more on YouTube than Steve Aoki made off of his music. And you sitting here complaining. A Panda Express manager is making $106,000 a year and you telling me about how you can't get to the bag. No, you just lazy. You just lazy. You're lazy, you're a complainer, and you don't lean into the thing that's going to actually make you great. You'd rather sit there and whine and complain than pick up a book, join a Patreon, do the thing that's going to actually add the most value to your life and pour into yourself. You'd rather complain and align yourself with people that's actually going in the direction that you want to go in. And then you tell me, don't talk about the victim Olympics. Now everybody is saying the term victim Olympics. I'm glad that they said it. I'm glad that I said it now that they saying it because I'm so tired of people leaning on things that people did before them that they didn't even that they didn't even go through in order to make an excuse as to why they can't get to the bag. Stop. Stop. Take this with you. Take this with you. If you didn't hear anything else I said, whenever I'm on a coaching call and I get to about the second or third coaching call, if I don't see you actually doing the homework that I gave you in order to continue to make yourself better, I ask my people the question. I said, this is insane. They say, why, Anton? I said, because I feel like I want you to be successful more than you do. They said, how you figure that? You don't know how I feel. I said, yeah, I do. They said, how? I said, it translates in your actions because if I'm a millionaire and I'm coaching you and I sleep less than you do and I work more, that means that I want it more than you do. If I'm coming into the phone calls more prepared for what it is that we're about to talk about on these coaching calls than you do, that means that I want it more than you do. I want you to be more successful than you want for yourself. 
You got a wife, you got kids, you got all of these people depending on you when you're telling me that somebody that's not even you want you to be more successful than yourself. That's insane to me. Nobody want Anton to be more successful than Anton. And you know how I know? Because I wake up at 4.30 in the morning, I'm the first one up and I'm the last one to sleep. You have to tell me, Anton, I need you to get some sleep. You got to pull me back, not push me forward. I'm trying to push you forward and you got to pull me back. If you sitting here looking at a millionaire and a billionaire, all of these billionaires that we got examples of, I look at the Elon Musk and I said, this dude is the CEO of two companies and he don't even sleep. If this mother effer don't sleep, what do I look like sitting here taking more than seven hours of sleep every day? Talking about I'm tired. No, I got work to do. We have work to do. And there is always a way in which you can lean into the best version of you. And there's things that you and I can do and it don't have nothing to do with what you look like, what your gender is, how much money you make, none of that. You can do some things that's going to transform your life, but it's going to come as a result of what you do and not what everybody else is doing to you. My father always told me life is 10% of what happens to you, 90% of how you react to it. It's all on you. It's all on you. We don't run into victim Olympics. We don't complain. We don't place our problems and our issues on anybody else. It's all on you. Tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. If you need personal coaching, you know how to get in touch with me. Go to my website, AntonDaniels.com. Send me an email. And let's get your life together. Because everybody around you is tired of you. I need you to be tired of you so you can actually do something different and get different results. Let's get it. All right. I love you guys.